Wrestling Entertainment! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of IWE TV. And we're starting off with a special on deck with the captain. His special guest is the main state champion, the irresistible Amon Jordan. Now, I'm sure the captain's got a lot of questions in mind for Amon Jordan. I'm interested to see what happens here. Amon Jordan, last time we saw him here on IWE TV, he defeated the wild thing Rick Daniels to become the main state champion, even though he used shady tactics with that mirror. Anyway, folks, looks like the captain's ready to get his questions answered. So let's send him down to ringside with the captain and Amon Jordan. Amon Jordan. Congratulations on being the main state champion. You know, some would say that your victory was a little controversial. Some would say you outright cheated. And my question to you is how do you defend? Your actions. Some people say I cheated. Yes. Oh, no. He knew that I was going to be the new main state champion. But, you know, Cap, it seems to me that you, you, Captain, you, you fall into that category of dinosaurs. So, uh, why don't you put that mic down, Captain? Amon Jordan being interrupted here as we see Redneck Randy Walker and his buddy Big Moxie coming out of the ringside here. Big Moxie carting out Redneck Randy Walker here. Obviously, I think uh, Redneck Randy Walker's had a little, bit, a little bit too much fun before he came out here to ringside. Whoa, easy there. We don't want that, uh, that wheelbarrow to fall over there. <laughs> and there we go. He's standing up now. Big Moxie. Shaking a hand to Redneck Randy Walker. Looks like Big Moxie going to be heading to the back here. Redneck Randy Walker making his way to the ring. Let's see if the captain can get some words from Redneck Randy Walker here on deck. And now I get the mayor of Woodworkerville. Hold on, guys. I've been heavily drinking lately, so let's give me a second here. First of all, old Mon, is that your name? Oh, my God. I think 
semblance of control here. These two men fighting it out here in the corner. Amon Jordan charges in flying forearm. And down goes redneck Randy Walker. Randy Walker obviously wobbly legged here from his <laughs> extracurricular activities before uh, <laughs> coming to the ring I guess. Uh, let's put it lightly. We don't condone that here in the IWE but obviously I don't think this match is planned so this is an impromptu matchup for the main state title, and we're going with it. I'm on Jordan with an arm ringer here, ringing that arm around and applying pressure. Uh, Redneck Randy Walker on the receiving end here. Obviously, I'm on Jordan, the main state champion, defending his title here in this matchup in an impromptu bout. And oh, Redneck Randy Walker reversing it and giving him an arm ringer as now. He's applying pressure here. I'm on Jordan has recently. Uh, he had a problem with some of the establishment and some of the uh, older guys in the locker room, so to speak. And I guess right now he's going to take it to Redneck Randy Walker. But looks like Redneck Randy Walker wants to teach him a lesson about respect. And he's doing pretty good right now with that top wrist lock. It looks like Ahmad trying to reverse back, but Redneck Randy Walker in control. Pitting him backwards with that top wrist lock. Trying to bend him in half here. And Joey Gleeds asking the man if he wants to submit, and he says no. Amon getting back to a vertical base here, trying to reach those ropes, which would cause a break. He's almost there, and he's got him here. This could cause a break here. See, Joey Glee's trying to cause a break. Amon Jordan flips out and goes behind the back of Redneck Randy Walker. And now Randy Walker reversing and go behind the back into a side headlock now. These two men going back and forth with some chain wrestling here, obviously showing that both men not giving an inch. You see Armand trying to slip out, and he does, and goes behind the back of Redneck Randy Walker into his own side headlock. Armand Jordana, does, I do think, has the height advantage here, um, but the experience advantage will go to Redneck Randy Walker. Another arm ringer here, Redneck Randy Walker in a world of pain, trying to get out of that. Oh, looks like Armand Jordan switching around. What's he going to do here? He's going back to that side headlock. You see Redneck Randy Walker stuck in that side headlock, but delivers an elbow to the midsection. And one more time. Oh, but then a knee lift. Oh, stomping on the toe does Redneck Randy Walker. Oh, but eats a shoulder tackle for his troubles. And Amon Jordan in control here. He is wasting time, though. But talking to these fans, it's not going to help him any. As Redneck Randy Walker is laid out on the mat, he needs to take advantage. Oh, stomping the man while he's down. 
once again in repeated stops now. You see Amon Jordan obviously very upset here, probably not ready for this matchup, but it's happening whether or not he wants it to or not. And a shot to the face from Redneck Randy Walker. And another big shot. He's firing back here, getting his second win. Oh, shot to the midsection. Whipping off Amon Jordan, catching him, and it looks like he's going to hit him with a sidewalk slam. One, two, no! Amon Jordan rolling out, going for a little breathing room here, trying to get away from Redneck Randy Walker. And Joy Lee's applying a count here. Amon Jordan can be counted out, but will still retain his uh, main state championship here. So this is not what Redneck Randy Walker really wants here. If he wants to become the main state champion, because he's got the ears of Amon Jordan. Go! But hanging him up does Amon as Redneck Randy Walker's face and throw went right across the top rope there. And now Amon Jordan getting back in the ring. He's going to take advantage of this uh, opening here and going right to work. Shots in the back of the head to Redneck Randy Walker. What's he going to do here? Amon Jordan setting up DDT on Randy Walker. Randy Walker is down, going for a pin here. One, two, foot on the ropes. Randy Walker, good ring presence. One, two, again. Oh, Amon Jordan tried to get it a second time and did not get it. Amon Jordan here needs to do something at this point if he wants to retain his main state championship because it looks like the redneck is fired up here. He's saying no. He says, hit me, hit me. I think that's that uh, liquid courage kicking in here, if you know what I'm saying. Redneck Randy Walker, fired up, he's coming back. Big shot to the face, one more time. Firing away on Amon Jordan. Oh, big shot across the chest. And the fans want one more. One more, well, the Redneck certainly likes to deliver. Randy Walker calling for one more right here. Bam, right across the chest. Come on, Jordan, feeling that. Whip off, reversal. Catches him in a power stand. One, two, no! Very close, Amon Jordan, can't believe it, and certainly can't hide. That was a snap power slam, driving Redneck Randy Walker into the mat. But the kick out nonetheless, very close. Amon Jordan, throws basement drop kick to the face. That might do it here. Rolling them over for the pen. One, two, oh! Good ring presence once again by Randy Walker. That shows that experience, as he's not once but twice hit those ropes to break that pinfall. And now Amon Jordan getting upset, throwing him right into the turnbuckle face first. And now what's this? Oh, utter disrespect in the corner, rubbing, choking him across the, and rubbing his forearm right across his face at the same time. You see there, Joey Gleets laying in the count, telling him to get out of that corner and lay off the choke. Oh, poke to the eye from Redneck Randy Walker on Amon Jordan. And now he's got him. He throws him on in the corner. And now it's Redneck Randy Walker's turn. A shot to the face. He runs the over the other buckle. Big splash in the corner. And a bulldog in a half. Oh, my goodness. Amon Jordan on his head. One, two, no. Oh my goodness! I thought that was it. I thought that was it. And so did Redneck Randy Walker. Driving Amon Jordan right on the top of his head with that bulldog, but no, no, no go there. He almost had it so close, so close. And now Redneck Randy Walker digging through his wheelbarrow. He found a paint roller, a knee pad, a stretcher, a a bell? A pair of underwear. Hmm. I'm quite perplexed. What does he look? A bottle of water. He might need that. He should drink that. And, oh, no. He should not drink that. That's a bottle of whiskey. Redneck Randy Walker with his bottle of whiskey. What is he doing here? Yeah, this is probably what he was drinking prior to coming out for this matchup. And that bottle looks pretty empty. I'm guessing he might have drank that whole entire bottle, but at this point, Redneck Randy Walker, with, who, with his drinking buddies, uh, the Mahoney's, may have topped off that bottle, but they left a shot just for Amon Jordan as they got poured right over his face. Oh, and one more time. 
Lamont Jordan, uh, I would say, is trying to hydrate, but that would probably be the exact opposite here. Is that <laughs> whiskey was poured into the face of Lamont Jordan? Oh, drunken elbow drop! One, two, no! Two count only. And you see there, <laughs> redneck Randy Walker thought he had it, but he did not. Amon Jordan down on the mat here, covered in whiskey. A redneck Randy Walker off the ropes and slips on the puddle of whiskey in the ring. You can kind of see it faintly, folks, that, that whiskey was left on the canvas and redneck Randy Walker slipped on it. And uh, right now, it looks like Amon Jordan is able to get to his feet here. He's going to be able to take advantage. He's telling referee Joey Gleeks here that he wants him to clean up the mess. So he doesn't slip, and Joey Gleeks trying to find a towel, I think, or something. Amon Jordan, though, uh-oh. He's got that whiskey bottle. He's taking a swig, and he's got the bottle. What's he gonna do here? Redneck Randy Walker's back is turned. He does not see Amon Jordan with that bottle. Ah, he spews that whiskey right into the face. A redneck Randy Walker. What's he gonna do here? He hits him with the bottle. Redneck Randy Walker is out. Going for the pin. One, two, and three. Amont Jordan, with the help of a whiskey bottle, pulls out the win here over the more experienced redneck Randy Walker. Amont Jordan retains his main state championship in our opening bout of IWTV. Folks, still to come, our tag team title main event, as it will be the number one contenders of the month, challenging the new IWTV tag team champions, The Fog with Sarah D'Arco. Folks, stay tuned for that and so much more. Folks, quick reminder, IWTV returns tonight, that's right, tonight to Cityside Restaurant in Brewer, Maine. It's going to be a 7.30 bell time, folks. Doors open at 7 o'clock. $10 for ringside seats. $8 for general admission, folks. Ringside seats are almost sold out, so grab your tickets now while you still can. Come out and join us for the Lethal Lottery. That's right, the Lethal Lottery, folks. The Lethal Lottery Battle Royal. The winner of the Battle Royal gets a shot at any title, any place, anywhere in the IWE, folks. It's an opportunity that only comes once a year. Come out out and join us and watch the Lethal Lottery and all your favorite stars got to be, including Amon Jordan. Levi Lexington, Aftershock Adam Ricker, Hashtag Mikey, Sebastian Mayhem, The CIA, The Fog, and so many more folks. We hope to see you tonight in Brumain at Cityside Restaurant. Be there. All right, so folks, it's time for our main event as Sarah Dierico and her fog, as she calls it, the faces of greatness, make their way to the ring. They are the new IWE Tag Team Champions, just defeating the Bomb Squad last week here on IWE TV. And right now, the Fog standing tall here as they look to take on the number one contenders, the men who cashed in their shot. That's right, the Mutts. But first, we're going to get a quick word from a man who will be debuting here soon in the IWE, the Trash Man. I'm Rob the Trash Man. I'm here to take out the trash in IWE. Well, there you have it, folks. Short words, but nonetheless very poignant here from Rob the Trash Man, who will be making his debut here in the IWE very soon. Folks, making their way to the ring now, the number one contenders for the IWE Tag Team titles, The Mutts, as they look to gain their shot here at the IWE Tag Team belts. Will they come out on top? Well, we'll have to stay tuned for our main event, folks. But first, a quick word from the hashtag king, hashtag Mikey, Mikey Price. Daddy, it's your boy, Mikey Primer, a.k.a. the Hashtag King. And you're watching me right here on IWE TV Fan Nation. Let's stand up and make some noise because it's party time. And like you know, you can hashtag that. Folks, you know what time it is. It's big time. And we're going to see the mutts go tag team, tag team with the fog here for the IWE Tag Team titles, folks. And the mutts are here. Ian Griffin cleans out Scully on the block with that clothesline. Quick pin, but to no avail. You see the Mutts came here to play, folks. They're not messing around. They want their tag team titles. They've waited to cash in their shots. 
And once the fog defeated the bomb squad, they said they wanted a shot at the fog. So here we are, folks. This is our title match main event. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We're going to stick with us right to the end, folks. As here, you see Ian Griffin's going to start off with Scully of the fog. Ian Griffin in control here, going right for the arm here. Ian Griffin, the biggest man in this matchup, and now a tag to Alex Kane. Alex Kane coming in here, taking over on the arm. And Scully in the world of hurt here as, of course, Humorous and Sarah D'Arco watch on from their respective corner. And another quick tag here by the Mutts. Tagging team experience coming into play here. The Mutts are the longest reigning ever IWE Tag Team Champions and showing why they were with their tag team experience. As, he, as you see Ian Griffin back Scully into the corner. And oh, a quick shove and a break. Scully obviously upset here, yelling at the referee or mumbling at the referee. They really don't speak much. Anyway, Ian Griffin in control here. You can see he's got the fans behind him and he's controlling the pace of this matchup. Scully though, using the hair, bringing Ian Griffin back to the same corner. And a little shove by Scully. I guess turnabouts are fair play here. As uh, you see Ian Griffin a little upset by that. Ian Griffin obviously the biggest man in the matchup, stature wise and obviously has the most experience out of everybody in this match. And oh, and Ian Griffin in the corner now. Tagged Alex Kane and a shot to the face. And one more time, Alex Kane lighting up Scully and repeating kicks to the midsection and stomp to the face. You see Alex Kane mocking humorous over in the corner. And Ian Griffin now grabbing the hole of Scully here. Drives the elbow across the back of the head. And Scully is down. Pick getting picked up now. Ingram going back to that arm. What's he going to do here? Push them back against the ropes. Whips them off here. What are we going to see? Oh, goes for the back body drop. He gets caught with a kick. And now a forearm to the face. Scully now taking control here, but Ian Griffin with a headbutt, taking back control. Another whip off. And now let's see, going for it again. Oh, kicked up and kicked to the back. And a drop kick. Tag team action there by the fog, taking to Ian Griffin, putting him down. One, two, and only a two count for Scully, says our official Eric Greenlee. Now boot to the face. Look at this, Scully just putting pressure on the face of Ian Griffin. And now Sarah D'Arco choking. Ian Griffin on that bottom rope here behind the referee's back. Oh, Scully with a kick to the midsection. Now stomping him across the chest. And looks like here, Humor is getting his first tag in on this matchup. Here. As they're coming in, looks like they're going to make a little wish. Courtesy Ian Griffin. Kick to the back. You see here, Ian Griffin in the world of hurt here, putting the man down. And a big leg drop from Humorous. Humorous now in control, just oh, pink brushing them. Ian Griffin across the face with his foot. Setting him up now. What are we going to see here? Off the ropes goes Humorous. Oh, kick to the face. Humorous playing with the crowd here, giving his normal mannerisms with his face. And now, oh, going for a pin, but waited too long, wasting his time with the fans. And it looks like here, Ian Griffin getting picked up by Humorous, getting placed across that second rope. Uh oh, we're going to see maybe some tag team action from the bog. As they do, oh, stereo drop kick to the face. Someone better take advantage. Here comes Scully going for the pin. One, two, no. Two, says Eric Greenlee for our official. Scully in a little bit of shock, I think, of that. I thought they might have had it. I thought they might have had it as well. That was quite a drop kick here. Now Scully choking Ian Griffin on the ropes as Eric Greenlee plays on the count. He has to count of five, and it'll be a disqualification. At that point, the Mutt may pick up the win, but not the titles. Titles can only be changed in on a pinfall or submission. Scully knocks down Alex Kane. We're gonna see a little tag team action from the block. And Scully out of the corner with a bulldog. Plants Ian Griffin. Going for a pin now. One, two, now. Two again. Eric Greenleaf saying two. Sarah DiRico and Humorous not impressed. They thought that was gonna be it. It was not Ian Griffin. Fighting back with everything he's got left in the tank. Alex Kane still down on the floor from that shot to the face. Oh, roaring forearm. 
and a forearm for Humorous and a basement drop kick for Scully. Right now, Ian Griffin needs to make a tag, but Alex Kane is not in the corner. He's still on the floor. He is so close to the corner, but you see Scully cutting off the ring here for Ian Griffin. Now going for a pin. One, two, no. Alex Kane now back in his corner. A little bit too late, though, as Ian Griffin getting dragged to the corner of the fog now. Humorous coming in here. Oh, kick to the leg. Looks like they're going after those big tree trunk legs of Ian Griffin, who is the biggest man in the matchup here. The big man can't stand. He cannot fight back. Humorous clubbing blows the back of Ian Griffin here. Oh, and paint brushing him across the face with his hand again. One more time. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Ian Griffin reverses the whip, sends him off. Ball, da, ball. Down goes Humorous as Dean Griffin is out on the mat as well. Desperation putting the man down. Dean Griffin crawling to his corner and so is Humorous here. It's any man's game. Who can make the tag first? Will it be Griffin or will it be Humorous? Griffin to his feet. Can he make the tag? And he does. And so does Humorous. Tags on both corners. Oh, Alex Kane comes in with a clothesline. Another big clothesline. A double-handed chop to the chest. Whipping off Scully now. Goes in the corner. European uppercut. Oh, running forearm. Dumping Scully down on the mat here. Looks like we're going to see some tag team action from the mutts here as we have stereo kicks. Down goes Scully. One, two, no, two. Says Eric Greenleaf, our official. Only two. Scully, you can see in the world of hurt here. And Griff saying this is going to be it. He's going to finish him off here. He's going to try to finish him off. He's going to maybe going for that big kick in the corner he likes to do. But Sarah DeArico up on the apron, distracting our referee, Eric Greenleaf. Alex Kane, though, now trying to come in the ring. And he, he looks like. Eric Greenleaf went to Alex Kane and didn't see that slap to the face from Sarah DiErico and Ian Griffin, and the Fox steal the win. Thanks for some interference by Sarah DiErico. It looks like the Fox are gonna steal this one from the Mutts. The Mutts had this thing in the bag. Griff was gonna go for that big boot in the corner. But Sarah DiErico got up on the apron, caused a distraction, and that led to the victory for the Fox. Folks, before we end our episode today, quick reminder tonight in Brewer, Maine, that City Side Restaurant, that's right, tonight, the Lethal Lottery comes to Brewer, Maine, that City Side Restaurant. Folks, the winner of the Lethal Lottery Battle Royal gains a title shot anytime, any place, anywhere on the IDB shows. Folks, you're not going to miss it. It's going to be a great night. Only $10 for ringside seats, $8 for general admission, folks. Only a handful of ringside seats remain. Grab your tickets now. Don't miss your opportunity to see all the stars. You got to be live and in person. Come out and see The Fog, Levi Lessington, Ahmad Jordan, Aftershock, Adam Ricker, Hashtag Mikey, The CIA, Sebastian Mayhem, and so much more, folks. Don't miss it tonight. Brooming, Cityside, 7.30 bell time. Doors open at 7. Don't miss it, folks. We hope to see you there.